Hello everyone. So I've been very lucky these past few months to get a pair of off-ice skates. I've been practicing these for a few months now um, and I'm just going to share with you guys some tips on what I find really, really helps um, and some good exercises to be going through and hopefully making it so that when we do return back to the ice, you know, we're not feeling as um, as shaky and as Bambi-like, I guess that's the correct term, um, as what we would be. So in this video, I'm going to be going through some exercises for my pupils to take with them and also for anyone at home who wants to join in if they have some off-ice skates uh, and wish to join in with some of these exercises, please feel free to join in. Like I said, this is mainly for my pupils and will be aimed around them. The exercises in this will start off very basic and then I will go through to a little bit more advanced stuff, uh, working on some counters and rockers and so on. I don't mind sharing this information with you guys. Obviously, when I'm on the ice, I don't go around giving free lessons. However, I do feel like the off-ice skating has been very different to how it would be on the ice. And I've had to change quite a lot of things and ways how I would go into different exercises um, to make them work with the off-ice skate. So this is very, um, very much uh, adapted to the off-ice skates, uh, which is why I really don't mind sharing this information with you guys. Like I say, I really hope everything that I do in this video helps you. Uh, and if you guys find something that you can take away with you, that's amazing. Uh, and I, I really do hope that, that this helps for you. Like I've already said though, guys, off ice skating is very different to on ice. Uh, it can be a little bit more dangerous, uh, but so just make sure you're taking extra precautions, especially if you're in a car park uh, or if, if you're not very padded up. Um, but you know, things can go wrong. So just make sure whatever it is that you're doing, make sure that you're staying safe where there's no one around um, and just try and make it so that, you know, nothing bad's going to happen whilst, whilst you're practicing. Okay, so without further ado, let's get into the video and let's get on with um, some of the different elements. You can't really tell on the video, but this is actually very slightly downhill. Now, when I'm working on my turns and stuff like that, I found it really, really helps to have something that goes slightly downhill. Um, and I think you'll find most car parks do that to drain away the water. Uh, but this one goes slightly downhill and it's absolutely ideal uh, for working on turns and stuff because it just helps you keep your momentum going. So whilst you're doing the turns, uh, you can keep a good rhythm and a good flow to everything. And it just makes it a little bit easier for you. Okay guys, so uh, I've actually written down a list um, of a few exercises that I would normally do uh, when I come to this car park. I'm gonna go through all of these exercises three times. Each time I do it, I want to try and make sure that it's done very well to the highest level. Okay, so the first exercise that I've got written down is just some forward skating. Like with skating, this is something that can be done for hours on end, skating forwards and backwards, up and down the ice. This isn't something I just do one or two times, I'd actually normally do a figure of eight around this entire car park. I would then start to run through some edge work, uh, so outside edges, inside edges, uh, and obviously forwards and backwards. something that I would do you know two or three times through and just trying to make sure how was the last one and how can I perfect the next one that's kind of what I'm looking at every time I do it good so we've been through some perimeter stroking and now we've also been through some um, very basic outside and inside edges the next thing that I would then do is start to go through some Russian stroking so I'm starting to introduce the cross now we're very lucky to have the off ice skates they have a rocker and it makes it really nice and easy uh, to get a good cross so I'm going to do some forward and backward Russian stroking next so with the forward skating, uh, the edge work, uh, outside and insides, and also with the Russian stroking, I've already given you a good 15 to 20 minutes uh, of exercises to be working on there. Then I'm gonna start doing some three turns. Uh, I'm gonna do the exercise where it's push, turn, back, cross, and then set to forwards for the forward outsides. Forward inside, three turns, step to forwards, cross for the forward insides. So 
relatively easy way I found to do the back outside three turns, or the best way to get into it, is actually just standing on two feet, lifting up, crossing over, and then standing on that nice blue back outside edge, ready for the turn. Okay, so a very similar exercise for the back inside three turns. I'm going to do a forward two foot cross, back inside three turn, and then I'm going to stand back on two feet, go for the cross again, and then another backward inside turn. I will now demonstrate. Now we're going to move on to some harder turns. So we're going to work on some counters and rockers, uh, which these skates actually allow us to work on. And if you're just starting to learn the turns, I can't see any reason as to why you can't give these a go. Again, just try and make sure that you're nice and safe with what you're doing. You're in a nice empty area, especially if you're finding the three turns very easy. You know, the weight's changing very nicely, whether it's from the heel to the toe or the toe to the heel, it's working very nicely for you. I can't see any reason why you can't be working on these turns. So just a really quick step through, guys. I'm gonna start off with the forward outside counter exercise. I'm gonna do this just forward outside counter step back to forwards and then go straight back into a counter on the other leg. Okay then, so for the forward inside counters, we're gonna go ahead and do exactly the same thing uh, as we did for the outsides, except I'm just gonna step around again um, from the forward inside counter and then just make my way back into another forward inside counter on the opposite leg. I'll now demonstrate. <laughs> I'm going to do the backward outside counter. I'm then going to go back into doing my two foot cross that I did for the three turns. Change feet, so I'm going to back outside edge and another, another back outside counter. So I'm kind of just repeating that whole exercise. It's very similar to the three turns, how we did the three turns, but obviously changing circle. That's what creates the counter. to start working on the backward inside counter. This one's going to be backward inside counter. Change. I'm then going to do a little push with my toe pick. I'm then going to cross my feet again and go back in for another backward inside counter on the other foot. Now the reason for the toe push is normally on the ice you would be able to keep your momentum as I've already said but I found in the roller skates and with the width of the car park that I'm working with I found I do need that extra little push. The free leg and the knee bend don't quite seem to get me all the way around. So I'm just gonna use that little push just to help me out a little bit. So the last thing that I'm gonna run through now is just some rockers. We're gonna start off with the forward outside rocker. It's gonna go forward outside rocker, change, and then go to do a crossover in front, step to forward, and then change feet back onto the outside edge, ready for the next rocker. Okay, so when it comes to doing the forward inside rockers, I spend the majority of my time keeping my chest facing that way down the car park. Um, now I do the forward inside rocker, I cross in front, step to forwards, and then I'm ready for my next forward inside rocker. Okay, so for the back outside rockers, I'm simply doing back outside rocker, three turn, and then straight into another back outside rocker. And for the backward inside rockers, I'm simply doing a backward inside rocker, toe push, cross and turn, and then I'm waiting on that backward inside edge, ready for the next backward inside rocker. kind of more, the more advanced side of things if you're wanting to do the harder turns the more difficult turns I've gone through them for you some things that I found that I can still do in the off ice skates is like twizzles and toe steps and so on so I'm just going to run through some of them you managed to get through things pretty quick and they felt really nice 
maybe just go through some of these different exercises that I've got for you at the end. These are just like little extras. If they work, they work. If not, that's also fine. If you've already been through everything that I've done today, um, then by all means call it a day and, and go home and get a cup of tea. That's what I'd do. <laughs> other extra exercises that I quite enjoy doing myself. I'm going to kind of wrap up there. I've been through quite a lot of things that you guys can uh, easily go through whilst, whilst you've got a little bit of spare time. Thank you very much for watching guys. I've gone into a little bit of detail today but if you guys have any questions or anything like that please comment down below and I'll be able to go through uh, whatever it is that you guys have questions on. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.